And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Ryan Metzler. Hey everyone, it's Ryan Metzler here again, and today we're going to take a look at a two-player abstract uh, in a long line of two-player abstracts from Miranda Games. We're going to be taking a look at Eternus. Now this game is pretty simple to play. It's going to be a play one piece and move on to the next player style of game in the line of Connect 4. But real quick, we'll show you how it's different from Connect 4. We'll go over the gameplay and the components, and then we'll come back here and we'll get my final opinion on it. Here you can see the components for Eternus by Miranda Games. Now this is an abstract game, and it's essentially in the same vein as Connect 4. Players are going to be using these wooden components here, and these are great wooden components. I love the quality of all of this stuff. Uh, you're going to have these wooden orbs that you're going to be placing on these posts in order to try and get four in a row, be it horizontally, vertically, or diagonally. Uh, so each player has their own set, we'll move these aside, but basically on your turn you're simply going to take one of your pieces and place it on one of these pegs. Now, as I said, you're trying to get four in a row. The game is essentially connect four, but since it's in a round, uh, there is a little bit more strategy to it in that you can play all the way around the board, uh, and it's a little bit harder to keep track of what everybody's got going on unless you're turning this piece. So maybe that player plays there, but this player decides to start over here on this side, uh, and you keep on in this manner. So this person goes here, and here, and then eventually, you know, this person gets three in a row and, you know, the next player decides to block it. And it gets a little more complex from there because you start building up. So the green player builds here, uh, the white player can go back over there, and so forth and so on with green blocking here. And you keep on playing until you run out of pieces, and eventually you will run out of pieces or someone will win the game by getting four pieces in a row. If you run out of pieces before this happens, you're going to start taking pieces from the top of the rows. So, for example, if this were all full up with all of our pieces, you would be able to take one piece off of the top of the row and move it to the, one of the other areas, essentially just removing one and replacing it until one player manages to get that four in a row. Once they do so, that player is immediately the winner and has won Eternus. And there you have it. That is Eternus. Now, as I said multiple times, the game is essentially Connect 4, but it's Connect 4 with some awesome components. I mean, most of the games in this line are so nice that they uh, would make great conversational pieces out on your coffee table, and this one is no exception. Uh, the game is a little bit better than Connect 4 because it does have those extra rules that say when you finish playing, you can move a piece, uh, if you have no more pieces, to a different row. So there's always going to be a winner. In addition to that, uh, it has that round aspect. So there's a few more choices of where to play, and there's a little bit of the, well, eternity, eternus, uh, option to it where you're playing around in a circle, and it's a little bit more difficult to watch sometimes. Uh, but really, it is Connect 4, and that's okay because it's both beautiful and adds a different touch. Uh, if that sounds good to you, check out Eternus. You can get it from Miranda Games, uh, and I'm sure that you will enjoy it. Thanks for watching our review today. For more information about board games, as well as the number one board game audio podcast, check out Dicetower.com for reviews, interviews, and more. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. <laughs>